Now, uh, DAMS has initiated a lot of new initiatives in uh, the way medical education is done in the past and this is our intent to start a kind of a grand rounds with radiology and pathology mixed. We would have inputs uh, on a disease by a radiologist and a pathologist and uh, my our purpose is to show to the medical students and residents that how both are so interlinked and I often actually, you know, tell in uh, my you know, lectures that radiologists are today the new age grossers. You know, what the pathologists used to see in gross anatomy in the past before the microscopy and the immunohistochemistry came, we used to see everything. Uh, now, this is what we see on x-ray. So, we actually uh, would say that both the sciences are a lot more interlinked than a medical student would actually think of. So to emphasize this point, I'll show you a X-ray. This is a hand X-ray of a patient, and uh, let us see if you can pick up the findings and make a diagnosis, and then then we'll see the pathological findings. So these are the you can see the hand X-ray of both sides. These are the metacarpals. They look okay, okay, and you see some lesion in this proximal phalanx. One more lytic lesion in the this middle phalanx. Another lytic lesion which is slightly expanding the cortex here. But there is no breach in continuity, no break, no surrounding soft, soft tissue extension, and another lytic lesion here, another here. So I would say, and if I go on the other hand, there is another lytic lesion here, one here, one here. So I'll say more or less the lesions are non-expansile within the bone. Some of them are slightly expanding the cortex, but they are not breaking the cortex. They are not go extending into the soft tissue. There is no no surrounding soft tissue extension. Now, if you look at the lesions carefully, some of them appear to show slight flocculent calcification. Where I would describe them as a slightly stippled calcification. And when I say phalangeal multifocal lesions with stippled-like calcification, some expansile, some non-expansile, I would say, and chondroma as my first differential diagnosis. Now, if I see the soft tissue of this patient, you will see soft tissue swelling is noted in some places, soft tissue swelling. And this soft tissue swelling shows tiny calcific particles which are consistent with a flebolith. So if you have multiple phleboliths with soft tissue swelling, we are looking at vascular malformation. Once we say vascular malformation, likely to be uh, most likely we are looking at a soft tissue hemangioma. So if we correlate the two things now, multi hand x-ray showing multifocal multifocal bony lesions with chondroid like appearance we will say and chondromas with hemangiomas we are looking at a differential diagnosis primarily of a ma syndrome called as Marfusi syndrome Marfusi syndrome here I would like to add that on our x-ray we we also say that the, the, the how well defined the lesion is is it extending into the soft tissues is it breaking the cortex this also tells us if it is a benign lesion or a malignant lesion in this case, mostly the findings are favoring a benign lesion with uh, intact cortical margins and some uh, chondroid-like pattern in, in within. So I'll hand over to Dr. Sanjeev to take us forward with the pathological finding in this disease. Hello, everybody. Yeah, again, uh, you know, a classical case for radiology and pathology correlation are the bone lesions. You know, uh, a pathologist without radiology is like blinded, totally blinded. And on the other hand, for uh, on radiology, yes, definitely you can identify most of the lesions, but definitely whether it is malignant or not malignant will be by, you know, the pathological diagnosis. Now, looking at this, let me go with the, this was a gross examination done and yes as dr sumer has described it very uh, you know in detail you could see that this is one of the phalanx probably yes so phalanx which there is a bone here i hope all of you are seeing this cortex again as he was stressing out very much there is no cortical breach that i can see okay and then definitely this is what i'm seeing this is a normal marrow of the bone normal marrow of the bone probably more of fat is there less of the erythroid and the myeloid elements are there very less of it more of yellow color fat and what i'm seeing is absolutely white glassy appearance i'm sure all of you would have remembered this seeing like a hyaline cartilage in your you know first mbbs what we saw a glass like that is why it is called hyaline it's a hyaline cartilaginous appearance which is very much limited within the bone 
ओके एंड लेट मी टेल यू ऑन ग्रॉस वी कैन नॉट बी श्योर वेदर इट्स अ बी नाइन ट्यूमर और अ मैलेग्नेंट ट्यूमर ऑलवेज वी हैव टू मेक श्योर वी गो इन टू द माइक्रोस्कोपी एंड इफ यू रिमेंबर फ्रॉम योर बेसिक जनरल पैथोलॉजी मोस्ट ऑफ द ट्यूमर्स दैट इज द बी नाइन फ्रॉम सॉफ्ट बी नाइन सॉफ्ट ट्यूमर्स वर्सेस मैलेग्नेंट सॉफ्ट टिश्यू सॉफ्ट टिश्यू ट्यूमर्स विल बी डिफ्रेंशिएटेड बाय two important things one is pleomorphism and another is mitosis that is what we have to see on microscopy to be sure whether it is whether it is a benign or a malignant and also a malignant tumor will have more cellularity that is what we will see if it is a malignant okay let me look at the microscopic examination of this yes at this microscopic examination definitely again this rem rem reminds me of my first mbbs of you know the hyaline cartilage image this side is fully hyaline cartilage you can see cartilage and you can see the chondrocytes inside this and very important another thing that you are seeing is a thin layer of bone that is there here which is covering this cartilage which was also seen on gross this thin layer of bone probably very thin layer of bone that is there that is seen on microscopy as well and now whenever we look a cartilaginous tumor we should look for the chondrocytes whether there are many chondrocytes or less number of chondrocytes looking at this of course this will come with the experience looking at this there are you know the normal number of chondrocyte there is no excessive chondrocytes inside this tumor so probably it will be benign it is benign and we will look for any mitosis and any pleomorphism which is not seen here so this is a benign cartilaginous tumor with the history of with the history of multiple lesions in the bones of the hands yes with the multiple lesions in the bones and the hands and phlebolith which is a hemangioma or even there can be associated lymphomas remember multiple enchondromas associated with hemangiomas or lymphangioma very sorry not lymphoma lymphangiomas this is very classically it is called as mofussi syndrome there is one more syndrome oleus which is without hemangioma that will also have multiple enchondromas but without hemangiomas very important take home message two take home message i want to give from this one is remember one thing that in mafusi syndrome the enchondromas will have can have slightly higher cells inside it still we will not call it as chondrosarcoma it can have more cells but we have to look for nuclear pleomorphism mitosis to make sure that it is sarcoma okay that is one thing that we always see and second and more important thing is of course mafusi syndrome has around 15 to 30% chances of getting into a sarcoma a chondrosarcoma can develop in any of the lesions that is why the patient has to be kept under follow up close follow up and definitely a pathologist should never miss a diagnosis of chondrosarcoma chondrosarcoma okay and just for your you know uh, this one i am also showing a image of chondrosarcoma so that you can compare chondrosarcoma with a benign enchondroma now looking at this this is also a cartilage i can see chondrocytes look at the chondrocyte number of chondrocytes definitely have increased right second next thing is look at the nuclear size one nucleus is very small this nucleus is very very large this nucleus is varying size that is nuclear pleomorphism i am seeing nuclear pleomorphism again in favor of a malignant tumor and this one probably yes this is a mitosis that i am seeing mitosis i am seeing mitosis nuclear pleomorphism increased cellularity all of them will make a diagnosis of chondrosarcoma so it has to be differentiated from benign tumor okay so i hope all of you are enjoying with our series of radiopath so please follow us up on you know youtube channel dams delhi channel on the youtube and yes definitely we would like as you know we were talking about the idea of this radio path correlation is you know we want to change what we have read you know we all during our mbbs we have read all our subjects into different different compartments you know oh you have crossed from the first year you have come to the second year but as such medicine is not that way we need to have a one single compartment where we try to study right from anatomy to radiology surgery and all other things probably under only one roof and that is what is the idea please follow us on the channel okay thank you, thank you.